speaking to the cypress trees, I know we had talked about, and I've got a video somewhere that I'll get posted, uh, how you keyed on the cypress trees, and you had a, a pretty special tool that you used to find those trees, right? Yeah, so uh, the Lawrence C map, um, if you put it on Google Earth overlay, it's kind of tricky to make it do it, but you got to turn off your shade of relief and, and then put on your overlays and, and, and then make the image come up. The satellite overlay up there on the north end was so good. It's, it's like when they took the image, they took it at the perfect time when it was casting a shadow on those trees. I would see those the shadow it would cast on the trees because if you look on that north end, you see nothing but what looks like bushes. But I could tell by the shadow cast on those trees, the extended shadow, I could tell that that was an elevated tree. And anything elevated on that end was a cypress tree. And and then I, I, I color coded my tracks every day and, and reset them. So my current track every day was red. And then I would turn that track a different color starting my day. And so I knew, oh, I didn't, if I would look at my overlay, because you're in the middle of all this jungle up there. And, and you can't really keep up with everything you fished. So after I would fish a stretch, I would zoom out on the Google Earth overlay, and then I would say, uh, all right, I didn't hit these trees yet. And then I would run over there and hit them. That way I, I, I kind of stayed organized amongst all that cover. And uh, in this game, efficiency is real, such a big deal that uh, being able to make a split-second decision to make a move and run to a set of trees, it might only be six or seven trees, but – be able to run over there real fast and hit them without thinking was a big part of my my game plan spending time learning your electronics is probably really good advice wouldn't you say Jero? oh absolutely uh, just being able to move through the menus menus on your graphs are a big deal especially during competition uh, there was another little unique thing I, I always put a heading sensor on and with the new point one antennas they show the direction of your boat whether you're moving or not and it always shows you that relative direction and the wind was blowing real bad and i was trying to decide if a certain set of trees out on the main lake was going to be getting hit with direct waves with if that wind was going to be directly blowing on that shoreline but when you're up there you don't know if it's kind of, i knew it was kind of blowing that way but i was wondering if that shoreline was protecting it or not so all i did was zoom out on my map and i had that uh, heading extension set to infinite where it's constantly draws a line across the lake and i was able to point my bow uh into the wind and it drew that line across the lake and i saw my shoreline was protected so then i was able to make a 20 minute run down to a set of trees that i knew would be protected when i got there right so you didn't run all the way there on a gamble and get there and find out it's you know it's trash it's not where you want to be at it allowed me to make the decision the whole time i'm fishing i'm thinking man i'm wondering if those trees are getting hit with this wind if they're right. getting hit with this wind it's not going to be good because if you're catching fish that are glued to a cypress tree my experience is when you get two foot waves hitting that cypress tree those those fish get off that structure they don't relate to it the same way 